viewers uh, in my last two videos i discussed regarding the uh, further categories of virtualization uh, that is uh, memory virtualization disk and io virtualization in a combined video and today uh, we'll be seeing what is the cpu virtual, uh, virtualization that is the central processing unit inside the hardware how the virtualization is done and uh, what all are the components or what all are the processes basically followed uh, in this kind of virtualization so stay tuned to my video to understand what is cpu virtualization in cloud computing this is ranjiraj and your streaming on the steady beast so first of all uh, cpu is central processing unit which is any vital component or the uh, motherboard of uh, any hardware system or the computer now you have to first of all virtualize it so uh, we have the basic diagram for virtualization uh, that is uh, this diagram that uh, you have the four basic privilege rings uh, or the protection rings privilege levels uh, ring 0 to ring 3 and at the ring 3 you have this user application which uh, does the direct execution of user as well as the OS request and uh, ring 2 and uh, ring 1 are kept as null uh, for future purpose and ring 0 for the guest OS uh, guest OS could be any uh, like the Fedora, Ubuntu or any other uh, kind of open source operating systems or any Windows licensed can be operated over here and at the base level you have the host computer system and the hardware where you will be running all these things. Now uh, this diagram moreover looks like for the uh, full virtualization using binary translation. So for that we had this kind of diagram. Uh, there in that you had also one VMM so that VMM is also there in this but uh, since we are talking about the CPU virtualization I have not considered that VMM in this so that is also there I will be talking uh, in the theory part in this so first we will be seeing uh, what this diagram is so basically we have this four different protection rings or the privilege levels and uh, ring 3 is basically used for execution of the user request uh, which is executed at the host computer system hardware at the base level and the guest OS, uh, it can directly uh, execute or request uh, any kind of activities or operations uh, at the base level. Now, uh, first and foremost thing is that uh, we have done with this diagram. So this diagram is uh, pretty easy. Now, what uh, do we mean by CPU virtualization? Or why do we virtualize the CPU in fact? So uh, basically, all uh, since I have discussed uh, all the types of virtualization, that is full virtualization, para virtualization and hardware assisted virtualization in that all I have considered this diagram for x86 architecture for virtualization. Now this x86 assumes that uh, the entire hardware is under their control uh, since or under their ownership because they are running the bare metal architecture. Now uh, bare metal is uh, far more like advanced and uh, more efficient than the hosted architecture I have discussed in the videos of bare metal and the hosted. So uh, this x86 considers the bare metal as the most advanced and the most stable one. So uh, when they own this bare metal architecture, uh, they are assuming that the entire hardware is under their control. So uh, basically uh, that is the fact. So for x86, uh, you will be uh, mounting it on a bare metal architecture. And we have four different privilege levels, uh, ring 0 to ring 3. And uh, like I have said, the ring 3 is basically used for execution of the uh, user request. And since it directly requires any access to the memory, randomized memory or hardware, it is exhibited by the OS and it must have an execution of the privilege instructions in ring 0. Now, uh, basically, uh, these are the non-kernel or the non-root mode privilege levels and these are the root mode privilege levels. So, uh, whatever privileges the ring 0 has, uh, it might be uh, like not more. If a ring 0 has 99 of the privilege levels or the acts of the instructions, then ring 2, ring 3 uh, will have uh, much less as compared to ring 0. And the, uh, ring 0 has the most highest privilege levels. So, uh, when you do certain of executions, uh, the ring 0 has the highest privilege level. So, for any uh, user action or user request ring 0 is firstly executed so that is written over here so ring 3 must uh, access or must uh, request permission to ring 0 to execute those requests so uh, the virtualization layer in x86 uh, it is placed under the os with expectation that uh, it is being virtualized under the ring 0 means if it is virtualized under ring 0 it will be like faster execution of the user request more isolation more performance 
no delay so uh, it is being uh, thought in that way but actually it is going from ring 3 it's not aware that it is being virtualized so in binary translation also it is not aware that the vmware is vmm is not aware that it is completely virtualized or it is in the virtualized mode so that is the fact uh, in this so uh, these instructions some of these instructions i have said uh, might be uh, like non privileged or the privileged instruction so this instruction some some instructions might having be kind of distinct semantics in that so uh, which might not be executable if it is not uh, in the ring 0 or if it is in ring 3 then uh, those instructions might not be virtualized then it will be go to the uh, kernel level then kernel code instructions would be replaced there and so on that process happens so now basically the fact is you have to trap and translate so that trapping and translating is done by the OS and especially uh, when using the VMware you use the binary translation of OS request. So that is required here. So this kind of problem like you have to execute in the ring 0 for most of the privileged instructions but at some cases you are not uh, able to do that and you are doing the ring 3. So that is solved by binary translation of OS request to permit running of the VMM in ring 0 which provides isolation plus performance both are improved now uh, in this binary translation of os request the os is moved at a higher level means uh, higher level means that uh, the priority level is much higher in this and it goes on increasing like uh, this has the most highest privilege then this then this and ring 0 is the ultimate or the most uh, advanced or the not advanced it has the most powerful privilege level so uh, in binary translation the OS is moved at a higher privilege level so when binary translation happens what is that it is being moved to ring 0 and then all the executions are done and so OS in this is uh, less privileged than VMM in ring 0 so like the uh, VMM is also there in between this guest OS and the host computer system hardware so in that in this case or in any other case VMM has the most highest privilege level than any operating system so uh, well, that's all about the CPU virtualization cloud computing. So we cover this topic of the virtualization here. Next, we'll be moving for some uh, other like architectures like Eucalyptus and the OpenStack architecture. So that would be more interesting than this for cloud computing. So hope you enjoyed this video. Found this helpful. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.